Hey guys, it's uh, Slash Camera here today, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run a rape train, or as other people may call it, kite. It's very simple, very quick, and it won't take long. Stick around, and I hope you enjoy this little video. Um, first, what you want to start by doing is getting two somewhat close range guns. I have just hit the box once, so I just want to kind of screw around with this executioner so what you want to do is like I'm doing is you want to wait for like a majority of the zombies to spawn. Next you want to just kind of run in a circle. If you can get a circle like base is one line then you can just <coughs> get a bunch of zombies in one place at one time. Now you can't just always run in a circle. You have to predict the zombies movements. You have to be able to think on your toes. Um, you have to just be able to make quick reactions to like zombies. They may go one way, go you know crazy, go the other way. But you just want to keep them in the middle of you. So see how these zombies are coming in, these little stragglers. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run like this, and I'm going to go. That uh, What I'm going to do is just keep them in a occupied like, area because if you let them control the situation, then they will, honestly, they will rape you in a heartbeat. But if you have the control of the situation, you will get to, like, very high rounds. So what you want to do is just pretty much predict the zombie's movements, be able to make quick reactions. If you see a gap, take it. It's like football. If you see a hole in the offensive line deep or, you know, defensive line, <coughs> then go for it. Don't sit there and look at it. Go for it feel like you're in a corner, like I'm going to corner myself right here, go the other way. It's not very hard. You might get hit and don't let that scare you. You can get hit, but that's what self revive the juggernaut is for. So, um, mainly just be able to think fast and if you don't know how to do it well, do it. Just go ahead and feel free to put your difficulty on easy. I mean, it's not anything to be ashamed of. I even play on easy if I want to get to like 50 60 plus rounds just because I want to be able to say, hey, I've gotten 60 plus, but I'll leave that little detail after that. Anyway, um, I hope this little thing has helped you. If you would like additional information, please leave an idea or uh, friendly or nasty comment, whichever, in the comment sections. Um, I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and tell your little friends out there. And um, if you like any of my uh, strange voices that I do, just let me know and I will do an additional video on that. So this is Slash Gamer, the all-around gamer, and as always, I am signing out.